We salute you. It's me. Alright. Get out. Here's your world. It's me. It's me. T Belly here. Beautiful. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T Belly here, King of Retro. Today, I want to talk about my favorite movie of all time. Scarface, yes, Scarface starring Al Pacino. In a world where we have the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you have the DC, you have all these comic books turned into movies, becoming a lifestyle. These are people's favorite movies, science fiction, like The Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, which are great films, love these films. Even movies like Goodfellas and The Godfather. You have these crime drama movies. I call them mob movies. But there's this one movie that just sticks out to me. And it's just my favorite. Because it hits in so many different aspects. And that is Scarface. I mean, I'm a big fan of this. I haven't even pulled out every version that I have. But Mr. Antonio Montana will agree that T-Belly is all about passion. And T-Belly is all about impact. And there's two things that Scarface possibly has done better than any other franchise that's impact and that's influence it's phenomenal what this franchise has done a one movie franchise what it has done to pop culture to hip-hop culture to movie culture even to video games they had a video game which i don't own <laughs> and uh, they just have multiple releases here's just three of my versions that i have i have this limited edition steelbook blu-ray then I have a kind of a mock-up without the accessories. Um, this Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And even most recently, as recent as last year, in 2021, I bought the Scarface Gold Edition, which is the 4K Blu-ray. I also have this on DVD and VHS and standard Blu-ray Blu as well. So I have three other versions of the movie. Is there a Laserdisc one I need to go get? Let me know. <laughs> but the movie has been impactful. We can start by just saying it was the Cinderella story for a Cuban immigrant turned drug dealer. He started just washing the dishes. He was a criminal from Cuba, migrated to Miami. He was washing dishes, him and his boy, uh, Matolo. They were um, Manolo, sorry, Manolo. How I confuse Manolo. And they were washing dishes. They did a little, a little cocaine pickup and... Things, let's just say shit hit the fan. Shit hit the fan when they did this exchange of cocaine for money. And the rest is history. They It set up the whole movie. And it went from him meeting the, from meeting the guy he was working for to meeting the supplier. And just going above and beyond. And even, I don't want to spoil the whole movie. But let's just say he started washing dishes. And by the end of the movie, he had his own empire. And the movie just concludes with how he ran his empire and the consequences of decision making, which is a key part of this movie. Uh, he always says what he loves, what he doesn't love. And sometimes there was a lesson taught here. Sometimes you have to do what you do not want to do in order to keep things at bay, in order to keep life going, in order to keep your business going. And this movie has influenced plenty of hip hop songs hip-hop albums, other movies, Miami Vice, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, it's all hand-in-hand -hand. Well, there's a bunch of Scarface in there. It's just a phenomenal film. I love it. Had a great time with this film growing up. Had a great time with this film as an adult. I watch it at least once a year, sometimes twice, possibly three times. Hmm, it's been done before. I can't lie, it's been done before. But it's a movie I watch every year. And to be fair, I don't think I've watched it in 2022 yet. Maybe I did. Maybe actually, actually, you know what, guys? I'm contradicting myself. I watched the movie January 1st, 2022. So I already watched it for the year. But I'm sure before summertime's over, I would have watched it again. And this is just one of those impactful films that it just, it hits everybody from the suburban kid just trying to get through school, get through college and make a life to the kid, the urban kid who wants to work hard and make it. They're starting at a fast food restaurant and they want to own a car dealership one day to the drug dealer who became a drug dealer 
as a teenager, as a man, as an older man, it just influenced every aspect. And I know there's a lot of illegal content that I'm mentioning, mentioning, but it's just the impact of the film, how Al Pacino's character, Tony Montana, he just had balls of steel and he went from the bottom straight to the top. This is a must watch film. It is violent. It is a rated R film. But I'll tell you right now, when you, if you can look past the violence, if if that offends you, if you could just look past the violence, look past the illegal illegal activity in the film, and just look at the basis of the story, how this man is going from the bottom to the top, how he's chasing the woman for, uh, woman of his dreams, which that's a whole other aspect of the of the movie. It's just so cool. The soundtrack, the art direction for its time. I mean, let's pull up a. Uh, pull this up right here let's see what well, i believe this movie came out in 1981 so i'm going to look at the bottom and it says uh well the movie is based off 1980 when did it release it released it does not it does not tell me when it released so since i cannot find when it released i'll just put it right there right now the movie came out this year this is the year the movie came out right here and it's just crazy how impactful this movie is. So I definitely suggest checking out Scarface. Uh, this is the 4K Blu-ray Gold Edition, but you're you're fine with just a standard edition. You can possibly rent it. At times, it's on Netflix or Amazon Prime where you can just watch it. And I definitely suggest to go for that. It's a fun movie. It's pretty long, but I, I definitely think it's worth your time and worth every penny if you buy a copy. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Check out Scarface. My favorite movie of all time. It is a pop culture phenomenon. Say hello to my little friend. It is a pop culture phenomenon. It just is. When you see that movie, if you've never seen it before, and you start watching the movie, you're going to see things that you're going to recognize, oh, I've seen that here. I've seen that there from cartoons to anime to other movies. It's been influenced all over the place and it's created a great era of people. I have to say, you might look at it like, wait, how did it create a good era of people? It has, it definitely influenced many of today's most successful people were influenced by Scarface. But that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out Scarface. Let me know what's your favorite movie of all time down below and, and give me a little rundown about that. But that's it for today, guys. It's me, your guy, T-Belly. And I'm signing off, guys. Be safe. Cheers.